Well, here we are again, back at Little Glee Makers. It's been a while, so we'll have a catch up, uh, whiz through, and then we'll soon be up to date. As the posts around the primitives all seen better days, I bought some new ones, and Luke gave me a hand to knock them in. Jane had a hankering to make a wicker basket, so we soaked some willow and then she wrapped it up in some towels for it to mellow. Luke built us a fire at his fire pit and we had some marshmallows on sticks. Jane's picked some rhubarb and she had the idea of selling it at the front of the gate and blow me, we sold three or four bunches. Granddad John built us an owl box, um, so we shoved it up a tree. Reggie was becoming a bit of a pain chasing the girls, and we think they're about to come into lamb, so we put him in his own little paddock out of the way. Howie had been sitting on the four eggs for a while um, and I removed them. They've been there for a couple of three weeks now so I took them out uh, and she's not best pleased with them. Bobby had a go at swimming. He's not the world's best but he seems to be having fun. As the sale of the eggs from the gates seems to be going very well, we clean out the old hen house um, ready for six new hens. They'd only been in the cage an hour or so, and they'd already laid an egg. To help the boys get rid of their old winter coat, Jane gives them a bit of a groom. We've prepared a couple of boxes to put the peas. We had trouble with the voles last year, so uh, see if we can't trick them uh, and avoid them getting eaten. Radishes are doing fine, as are the carrots. And that, I think, kind of brings us um, up to last week. So coming up to the end of May, June just around the corner, and here's some samples of our girls' wool that Jane's prepared, ready to make some garments out of. If you remember the owl box we put up the other week, uh, we've been sitting under it now every single day, and we can hear owls in it, tap dancing, jumping up and down, making the most odd noises. Uh, so I climbed up, had a look, and it's empty. With all this hot, dry weather, the pigs are enjoying a good old wallow in the pond. And the boys get booked in for the farrier. Apache was as good as gold, but surprise, surprise, Harry was a right pain. We moved the new hens over to the old hens, and then we opened the box. And what did we find? Some dogs. That's it, they're done. You all right? Cheeky new hen doesn't know the rules and she's made her way into the carrot tent. Not overly keen on melon, she has a go at Jane's thumb. After watching a TED talk on clouds, Jane sits wistfully in the lambing pen, staring at nothing in particular. The potatoes in the tyres are doing really well, they're coming on in leaps and bounds, as are the potatoes in the buckets. We added some strawberries, uh, also some courgettes, uh, some onions we're going from an onion, and a few fuchsias. The garlic, radishes and carrots, all doing fine. As are the dahlias, peas, and the beetroots.
after the floods of a couple of months ago, um, we're now in drought and there's no water left in any of the troughs, tubs and the pond's almost out. Soon be time for all the newts in the pond to disappear till next spring. And it's also time for a change for me and Jane, seeing as we've eaten our way through lockdown. Jane's decided to do couch to 5k and I've decided to take up horse riding. <laughs> 